Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to High Media TV. I'm your host, M from High Media TV, and today we're looking at my Sheena Bird deck, getting straight into the uh, deck list. Stick around to the end of the video for the calls to actions. Things like the Discord will join the Discord, support the channel. Uh, to start, we're going with our obvious hand traps. We've got three of Max C. We have our Neftifist package, which consists of Disciple, consists of Devotee, Conductor, and uh, Neftifis, the Sacred Person of Preserver. We'll get into how this works in a second. Our incantations of Pens three of Pencil Plume, three of Candal, three of Bookstone, two of Talismandra. I prom the reason we're doing two of Talismandra is I promise you we have plenty of ways to get to the other monsters. Uh, getting, getting some more material on board, we have Aratama and Sakitama. Uh, this is you, you norm, if you're running a leaner version of the deck, Haritama is all you're really going to need. And our resident, a uh, war crime, Amano Wado. This is a, a sensibly Amano Wado Turbo in some cases. You have been warned. We also have our Chalice Slime as part of our incantation package, our generic uh, ritual good stuff of preparation of rites, pre preparation of rites, the, she, the Shino Bird uh, uh, spells of stars aligning above, stars aligned above the shrine. This, by the way, also works with the Neftifis cars, which will allow you to search out a level 8 winged beast monster, which the Bar Baron and Baroness both are, uh, as well as these uh, search, as well as grabbing a stars aligned the Milky Way and getting that onto the field during the end phase. This allowing you, if you have, if, God forbid, are able to both proc it immediately and have it in grave, are able to ritual summon on your, you can activate your Baron and Baroness effects during your opponent's turn. Very broken. This is also a Wind Wing Beast deck, so Harpy's Feather Storm absolutely makes an appearance. This Crime Against Humanity is going to be good in the case you don't have a Mono Wato, but it is a hard draw. We also have our Incantation Inception, the generic ritual, just in case you just aren't able to get your Sheena Bird's Calling uh, live. Trap tricks to get trap tricks just to turn uh, the sixty card deck into a thirty uh, into a thirty seven card deck or fifty seven card deck, or rather even further, a uh, you know make it so it's easier to get to both stars aligned across the Milky Way as well Harpy's Fe uh, Harpy's Feather Storm allowing you to get access to the 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 non searchable Fe Feather Storm or God forbid you are desperate for the stars aligned across. The I mentioned a little bit about how the decks works begin. Let's actually so to talk about a little bit of the lines, and we'll show it to you shortly. Uh, this your you have your Ariatama and Sakitama are there to search out your ritual spirits as well as deck thinning, being able to allow you to go into some pretty easy link too, such as I Masquerada, Cross Sheep for getting some more shit out of the deck, and Dynamoto, a great going second tool that'll allow you to shuffle shit of your opponent's field and on your opponent's turn be able to proc um be able to proc the special summon effects of your um ritual monsters although these don't i don't think have it don't i don't think have any special summon effects your incantations do what you expect them to do they basically search your stuff out and you want to eat them as quickly as possible to have access to your extra deck because that is remarkably easy with this deck surprisingly although you know don't be surprised if you end up having a sneaky little pencil plume on field, and now you're not able to turn your your board into a big bingus access code talker. I mentioned the Neftifist cards; they function as sim simple. If you're able to get the tiny Baroness or the, the tiny Baroness or the tiny Baron or tiny Baroness on field, use it. Uh, you, you with, with along with the field spell that the tiny Baroness searches. You can then eat the tiny Baroness to then go into the. Uh, uh, you can then special summon the uh, red, the conductor, into devotee, which then summons the disciple. This gets you three materials on field that opens your board up to go into most late things. Worst case scenario, you're if you if you are that desperate for material. It can be used for that as well. Ideally, though, you're going to want to use these for the link to Neftifist, the Sacred Preserver, which requires two Neftifist monsters. 
and when and when it's this card is so then during your main phase, while this card was if this card was link summoned, you can add one level eight winged beast monster from your deck to your hand, i.e. Baroness and Baron, Big Baron and Big Baroness. Uh which then and then also add a ritual spell from grave to hand. It effectively functions as a targeted preparation of rights, but for level eight winged beast monsters. Very important. Lastly, uh, the last little interaction I want you guys to be aware of is I want to read to you Stars Align Across the Milky Way. Reveal one monster, ritual monster in your hand. Add one ritual monster with the same level but a different name from your deck to your hand. You can banish this card from your graveyard and send one ritual spell from your hand to the graveyard. This effect becomes that card's effect. That ritual summons a monster when the card is activated. You can only use each effect once per turn. The goal for... I want to explain this line before we get started. During the end phase, twice per turn, so you can do it with like two babies, one or one big one baby doesn't matter. If twice per turn, if a face win, up wind monster you control is returned to your hand, except during the damage step, you can activate one of these effects. So you can basically get both of these effects off. You can add one of your spirit monsters or ritual spells as banished or in your graveyard to your hand. Set one stars align across the Milky Way directly from the deck. This is very this is very useful, especially since the Shino Baron, Shino Bird's Calling, can banish spirit monsters from your graveyard as material for a ritual summon. This is a very useful effect, but this allows you to get your materials back, allegedly. Also, if you're level four never if you can avoid it while you have these on field, do not go full bring add these back to your hand. Those baby baron and baby baroness. Both have the end effect once per turn during the standby phase of the next turn after this card was banished. Special summon this banished card. Once per turn during the end phase, if this card was special summon this turn, return this card to the hand. So, I want to reiterate. You can special summon this off of the effect of Dynamoto in its end phase effect with proc. But, you know, and which will then proc the effect of stars all above, aligned above the shrine. I want to be very clear. A Mono Water Turbo or Harpy's Feather Storm Turbo is going to be a big thing going on your opponent's turn. If you are uh, if you are unable to lock them down or unable to get enough interaction on board to deal with them, you're going to have a rough time. That being said, the deck is very chewy, and you will routinely end the turn with more hands, with more cards in hands than you started. So, you know, even if you end up your entire field having all defense position ritual monsters and tokens plus some interaction you unless your opponent opens the top deck or ageki you should be fine and even then it's debatable so let's get into the match shall we so this is uh what we would call a loss this is a, a, a loss primarily for my own incompetence this is a def is certainly a playable hand but unfortunately there was really not much i could do due to my own personal I started by activating a uh, pencil plume to get use candle to get a Shino Bird's calling. I used the candle and the Sakitama in, in hand to make the Shino Baroness peacock. I'm like, well, shit, I might as well do it so I can see if I can get something else. Sakitama comes back to the hand because it was tributed for that effect. Uh, the field spell tributes the Baroness to get a hold of the uh, bear shade bear of the bear of the baby Baron Baroness, I mean to say. To add a second shrine back. So I activate its effect. What I should have done here was gone for the other level four, but I wasn't thinking. I went into the Nephthys line. And look, no way to get rid of the pencil plume on field. I am futilely summoning the other Nephthys cards, and when I realize, I scoop. This one is also crusty. A much better hand, admittedly, than the last one. An Aratama and Sakitama in the opener is goofy as hell. So I use Aratama to get the, the Baroness. Uh, so I activate Sakitama's effect after to get its effect. Fun fact, I can use any spirit monster with the field spell to get something out. And that is going to be Baby Baroness. Baby Baroness effects activate in, in sequence uh, after Sakitama's, on which I get another copy of the field spell because of course it looking to redo the mistakes of my past. 
I activate the, the second copy of the field spell, electing to go into the, I believe the level four was, if I remember correctly. No, I was right. It was the Nephthys line. We ne we read Nephthys, we, we read Nephthys into blue Nephthys into red Nephthys again. Use the two to go into the link two, being able to get the rest of my stuff, but we never get to see that. My opponent elects to scoop instead. Now, to the trifecta of crustiness, we open the first five turns of this are abysmal. And I'm blessed that the opponent was playing a, a crap ass deck. I draw effectively no starters. Set activate the field spell, set a call by and call of day, and they realize they're doing Amazonas beatdown. Or at the very least they're not, and they didn't play any of the good cards. So they hit me for fifteen hundred and keep pushing. I drop a, a stars among the Milky Way trap. I set everything and say, fuck it, we ball. I'm like, oh god, they summoned Princess, that means they're actually playing competently, maybe. And I'm like, oh wait, no, nah, maybe they're a Duel Links player instead. I think we're okay. They decide to set that extra card and go for it, hit me for another 1500 instead, go to end phase, and now we are, if I can't hope that they're going to brick two, we get a preparation of rights, and I'm like, oh lord, thank you. We have officially unbricked. Preparation of rights will allow me. They add some bullshit to their hand. I don't care about. It's not going to matter. Uh, and I get a peacock, a, a baby, a baby baroness, which will allow me to also get another copy of a ba baby baron. This is going to be important for later. I activate the incantation, uh, the Taos mantra to get the candle to get the incantation in inception. Activate the inception. Get the get the baron, baby baron out. Baby baron effect. Oh, let me hit this speed up. The Baron's effect activates. I get the calling to hand. The incantation ritual activates, and I get another candle out. It's not going to matter. I just need another level four to be able to get the Baron, baby Baron, out. I activate its effects to get an Aritama and another Shino for its calling. I have a line to get the other levels eight for good. A Sakitama for board filler for like materials more important here. I attribute it to still go into the Neptifus line. Very important. The blue, red Neftifus into blue Neftifus into red Neftifus again after adding the Sakitama back. I then decide I like to go into the Link 2 Neftifus to get my Bear and Peacock, as well as the Incan Inception, just because I can do it. Board that back row is scary. I like I get the cross sheep, uh I'll basically using the Neftifus cards and use the cross sheep's effect to basically get some good stuff out while also using Baron's effect to bounce their back row and get in a mono one row, activating its effect in sequence again, using the Baroness for a Baron to bounce their shit back. We have a clear build, no hand traps. I'd like to go into an access code talker, just so I have a little bit more damage and get in for well over four. Quite the deck, if I'm being honest. A lot of fun. Uh, obviously, you're you're dealing with the your typical... Um, issue of ritual based deck go burr uh this isn't uh novellus you know with the insane consistency that that deck has for a ritual deck the shino ba the, the new shino baron uh the baby baron and baroness are good the field spell is, is 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 dumb the trap even more so all of this is really great but it is ostensibly in a mono wado slash harpy's feather storm turbo deck Something you got to keep in. Um, when you when the when you when the, when it gets going, it gets going hard. You draw every card in your deck. There is no peace in its real. There, like it is, it is uh, uh, very much. It is very. It is very much a uh, insane deck. It's, it's lovely. Free battle time. Just to be clear, where I stand on that. Cause People thinking I'm not, I believe something I don't in the comments, but I digress. Uh, thank you so very much for watching. I'm going to let uh, pre recorded edit show y'all out. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a, join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash Discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg slash tip.
all of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.